Blackface scenes should never be cut out of movies or television shows. Now, this is coming from the person who decried the use of mammy stereotypes on syrup bottles and demanded the Confederate monuments be removed from government property. And I stand behind that. But blackface scenes in movies should remain intact. I'm Dara Star Tucker, and this is The Breakdown. A few years ago at Christmas time, I sat down to watch a film on Turner Classic Movies called Holiday Inn with my younger sister. What I didn't realize is that the version of the film that I had seen on TV back in the day was censored. My sister and I got part way into the movie and we were hit upside the head with this. USA is united, thanks. Yes! One whose name was Nancy Hanks. Tell me! Abraham! Our jaws were on the floor. I was so embarrassed that I had suggested that we watch this movie. I had no idea that musical number was in the film in the first place. Same goes for Swing Time. Many of these blackface scenes were cut out of films on AMC back in the day. It turns out that blackface scenes were much more common than I knew because we had been shielded from them growing up. But Turner Classic Movies has a policy of not censoring these scenes, and I agree with them wholeheartedly, though it is nice to have a warning that they're coming. But how does this differ from putting black servant tropes on breakfast foods and Nathan Bedford Forrest statues in the state capitol? Context. Imagine you're someone who grew up with this idealized version of America. You sit your family down in front of the TV on the 4th of July, our most festive of national holidays, to watch Yankee Doodle Dandy and be reminded of how great our republic once was. The nostalgia is setting in and you're all poised and ready to sing along to some of the most memorable patriotic songs ever written. And then this. Well, hopefully you'd have the sense enough to be embarrassed and maybe even have a conversation with your children about this racist tradition. That idealized version of America suddenly wouldn't seem so ideal for everyone. And that's completely different than millions of children growing up, looking at the happy black servant on their pancake box, or thinking that Confederate soldiers are worth erecting statues to. Those figures are removed from context, and people can make of them whatever they choose to. They become normalized, and they're simply a part of the scenery of people's everyday lives. No one learns anything. But this... This is uncomfortable and strangely out of place. It's ugly, it's incongruent with how many people perceive the good old days. How could white people have been comfortable slathering burnt cork all over their face and mocking black people in that way? It speaks volumes and it doesn't let the viewer off the hook. So no, I don't think these scenes should be removed. They should live side by side with the fantasy of who America thinks it was. And they should serve as a chilling reminder of what many are actually saying when they claim to want to make America great again. Be sure to follow my podcast, I'm All Over the Place. We'll be doing a deep dive into this topic on the next episode.